Gymnastics is a constantly evolving sport. The rulebook of the discipline, known as the Code of Points, is updated every four years after the Olympic cycle comes to a close, and gymnasts need to adapt their routines according to the new rules, which sometimes means having to completely remove certain skills and combos. In this video, we'll take a look at five things gymnasts eventually stop doing. Connecting four acrobatic skills in a row without changing direction was a thing of the 80s and 90s. Most of these combos included back handsprings and layout stepouts in varying orders. But the 1997 code introduced a new rule that still stands today. Acrobatic elements on beam may only be performed twice within one connection. So, one of the most impressive quad series on the balance beam, a back handspring to three layout stepouts, was practically banned since the gymnast was only allowed to perform two counting layouts within the connection. Back-to-back -back tumbling on floor was also popular in the 80s and early 90s. The gymnast tumbles from one corner to another, and then back again to the original corner without stopping, creating a lengthy acro line. But many reasons have contributed to their disappearance. Connecting so many skills in a row takes a lot of energy from the rest of the routine. The code does not offer any incentive in the shape of connection value. Most skills inside these passes were of D or lower value, which are considered fairly easy skills according to today's standards. The level of difficulty has vastly increased over the past few decades making it hard to incorporate high-level skills in the middle of such a long acro line without risking injuries, sacrificing form, or incurring landing deductions, which are key factors in the final score of any athlete. And it also raises a question, would the judges consider it one acro line or two? In the current code, only four acro lines are allowed. Skills ending in arabesque position used to be popular in 2007 and 2008. They were variations of some of the most common acrobatic elements on beam, like aerial walkovers or front tuck somersaults. With takeoff from one leg, the gymnast would flip forward and land on the free leg, holding the arabesque scale at 90 degrees for at least two seconds. But the 2009 code introduced a new connection formula that changed how judges perceived them. From that point on, these types of skills would be considered two different elements linked together, and not an individual skill. But to be considered a scale and earn the point one bonus, the leg separation must be of 180 degrees. A 90 degree amplitude is not considered a proper scale, nor credited as a skill. As a result, the arabesque ending skills were removed from the code. Cat leaps are one of those dance elements that went completely out of style since the new scoring format was introduced in 2006. Nowadays, every floor routine must have a dance passage composed of two different leaps or hops connected directly or indirectly. Only one of the two elements must have a 180 degree split, so a cat leap could still be used within the movement pattern. They could be a great alternative for gymnasts who lack flexibility, but not many take advantage of them. Its only requirements include knees above horizontal alternately. The current ratings might not be encouraging either. The most difficult one is the cat leap with double twist, which is valued at C. One-armed skills are common on the men's high bar, but rare on the women's side. Liu Huan of China was the first female gymnast to perform a one-armed giant swing on the uneven bars in the 90s. As a result, it's named after her in the code of points and is described as a giant circle backward to handstand on one arm. She also performed this element into a Gengar release, which is even more impressive. But for safety reasons, the FIG has given the one-armed giant a very low rating to discourage gymnasts from attempting it. It's currently valued at B which is the same rating as the version with both arms. For that reason, even Liu stopped performing it after the 1996 Olympics. 
Which one of these would you like to see performed again?